everybody welcome back to my channel it is your new paper girl goldie and i'm here to give y'all a little weight loss update uh, from the title of this video you already know i'm about to tell y'all how i lost 22 pounds yes 22 pounds this past month your girl is feeling good your girl is looking better but um more weight will be coming off, so make sure you guys subscribe, follow my social media account so you guys can, you know, follow me on this journey. Hold me accountable. I never really need an accountability partner because I'm going to do this for myself. I don't need nobody to tell me, but it's always nice to, you know, have you guys in the comments or replying to my story. You look like you're doing great or keep going. That shit is so hard, but you killed it. Like, I love you guys' compliments and comments and encouraging words like that. So keep that coming. But anyway, let's just go ahead and hop right into the video. I have my computer here because your girl took some notes. So, um, if you guys follow me on social media, you would know that I recently signed up for a kickboxing challenge. Um, I don't remember the date, but I really searched the picture so you guys can see. I originally started the kickboxing challenge because... It was one of those things where you sign up and you lose either 25 pounds or you lose 6% of body fat. You get all your money back from signing up. So in my brain, I'm like, I'm going to sign up. I'm going to pay this money. And when I get it back, I'm going to go buy me some Versace glasses and some Chanel earrings. And that, <laughs> everybody's little motivator thing to keep them going is different. That's what did it for me. I don't care about looking good. I mean, I already look good. You know, that's that's not an issue to me. I was already confident the size I was. It wasn't about the money. It wasn't about looking better in the clothes. It wasn't about being healthier. <laughs> it was about getting my money back for them fucking glasses and them earrings. The program was a total of six weeks. And they gave me like a meal plan to stick by. Yeah, they, they told me what I should and shouldn't eat. But honestly honestly i did my own thing yo i'm gonna insert a picture of the list so you guys can see it but some of the things on the list i don't eat or i knew i wasn't going to enjoy eating so i'm not about to try it i'm not gonna waste my money so i just ate regular things that i knew was healthy and i cut out all the stuff that was bad so like example you know you shouldn't be eating a lot of sodium you know you shouldn't be eating a lot of junk food you shouldn't really be eating any junk food you shouldn't be eating um, or drinking any juice or soda. Um, you should increase your water intake. So those are like simple things that I did. I used to eat ice cream at least five days out of the week at night, y'all, before I went to bed. And when I started this challenge, that was kind of like one of the hardest things not to go for the sweets, but the working out and stuff is fine for me. It was just the eating. So... I had to like buckle down and really tell myself, no ice cream, no ice cream, no ice cream. You can do it. Um, let me just give y'all like a basic rundown of what I ate. And then in another video, if you guys would like, let me know down in the comments below. I can like actually show y'all like literally me cooking it, me preparing. So um, for breakfast, usually I would do either a fruit smoothie or some fruit, like a handful of berries and an apple. Um, what else did I eat for breakfast? I would have some egg whites and two or three pieces of bacon. I put like a nice handful of spinach in the pot with my eggs. So I would have the eggs and the spinach and then my bacon. There's something irritating my eye. And then like later on down, like maybe like week four, week five, I started adding in um low carb tortillas and i would make like a breakfast quesadilla for the morning um so i would do that or just a protein shake that's literally all i would have for breakfast then i would usually go work out then when i came from my workout i would have another protein shake right after so i would usually like take it with me to my workout and leave it in the car so when i got back i would already have it to drink and if I forgot to do it or if I was running out of time, I would just, you know, go straight to the workout and make it as soon as I got back home. Because they say it's best to have it, like, within 30 minutes to an hour after your workout. So that was that. Um, for lunch, I would usually have... In lunch, I try to make the bigger meal. Dinner, you shouldn't have all of that that late. So for lunch, I would probably do, like, a salad with some chicken on it. 
or um, sometimes I can't have pasta, so I would do a pasta um, with like not a lot of cheese. Well, you really are supposed to be eating cheese, but I couldn't let the cheese go, so I would do just a little bit of mozzarella. I'm not gonna lie, I'm just being completely honest with y'all. It wasn't as much mozzarella or cheese on top as if you know you was throwing it in the oven to bake it with a layer of cheese on top, but I definitely still had some cheese. Um, what else would I eat for lunch besides pasta, salads? Um, sometimes I would just have like chicken wings. I could I would put them in the air fryer. Um, chicken wings and like maybe like some vegetables, um, broccoli, asparagus. Um, in the beginning, I wasn't eating any bread, but like I said, like week four is when I in incorporated the low carb tortillas, and I would also start going to Panera Bread and get sandwiches. So. Um, I only ate the tuna sandwiches though, but they have other healthy sandwiches too, but that's just all I wanted at that time. So I did have tuna sandwiches sometime for lunch. Um, what else would I eat for lunch? That's all I can think of for lunch. If I got a little hungry, I would have like a little snack. So I have nuts, I have sunflower seeds, I have popcorn, I had um, like low fat tortilla chips, or not low fat, low sodium tortilla chips. Um, what else did I snack on? Oh, I had the kind bars. I would have the chewy bars. I have Nutri-Grain bars. Um, that's all I can think of on the snacks. And then after that would be dinner. And dinner is usually something smaller. So maybe like chicken breast and some vegetables, but it's definitely more green on my plate than it was the chicken. I did go out to eat sometimes, but the best thing to do before you go out to eat is to look at the menu before you get there. So you will already know in your brain, okay, I'm going to Fridays, but I know they don't really have any many options. So I'm gonna just get chicken with buffalo sauce, mashed potatoes, and some broccoli and you just don't eat as much mashed potatoes because you know you really shouldn't be having them and yeah um i did go out to eat a few times i ate steak um with no sauce i would have my vegetables i would have a nice salad dressings are very important you can't have like the ranches and the creamy caesars and french and all that good stuff that we really want you can only do like vinaigrette so i was doing a lot of those um brussels sprouts i'm looking at my food journal now so let's see egg white spinach bacon protein shake steak brussels sprouts salad hummus and pita chips that was a snack that i went to yes um like the little is it called sabra i think it's called sabra the little individual um hummus cups that you could take on the go i would take those with me and snack on those throughout the day with like little pita chips or the flat pretzel thins forgot about those um let's see subway yep i did go to subway a few times i got a turkey sandwich on the flatbread um Ooh, I made a spinach pesto pasta. That was really good. Ooh, girl, I forgot. So I was going to college some days and getting protein bowls. Oh my gosh. The little um, grains and, what's it called? Greens and grain bowls from Kava, so good. Sometimes I would get the chicken, sometimes I would get the lamb. Sometimes I would get falafel. It just depended on the mood that I was in. Um, what else is on here? Yeah, it's kind of like a repeat of foods. After a while, I'm not gonna lie, it did get a little boring. So that's why sometimes I did go out to eat so I could change it up a little bit because I was tired of the same shit. But um, yeah, so that's like pretty much what I ate the entire time while I was on the challenge. And I also um, took a pre-workout drink. So I'll insert a video or video. I'll insert a picture so you know which pre-workout drink that I drank. But I would drink this literally before every workout. I didn't miss it at all. Now, it wasn't the best. It's not like a Kool-Aid or anything. But I mean, why would it be? But I would drink the pre-workout before the workout. And then I would have the protein shake directly after. Both the pre-workout and the post-workout. Both the pre-workout and the um, protein shake had, what's it called, thermogenics in it. So I guess it like helped burn fat a little bit faster or something like that. So I made sure I paired them two together at all times. 
and I was working out at least three days out of the week, at least three days out of the week, at least three days out of the week. I did not miss a kickboxing class. Um, when I was in kickboxing, I burned at least, at least 500 calories every class, like no doubt. There was never a time where it was below 500. Um, sometimes it got to 600, just depending on how hard I pushed myself in the class. But I was in there, I was working out, I was getting in, I was taking my pre-workout, I was doing my post-workout protein shakes. Um, I said I was going to do two-a-days, but I never really did the two-a-days. But I do have a dog, so I already walk at least, at least a mile a day. And I'm just say it probably wasn't even more than that. But I take my dog out about three times a day. We walk for about 15, 20 minutes at a time. So I'm going to just say that's probably about an extra mile walk on top of that every day. And that's pretty much all I did, guys. This month, if you guys keep following my journey, um, I'm going to incorporate a lot more weightlifting and at-home workouts on top of my kickboxing. So I'm going to continue to go to kickboxing three days a week. I'm also going to be going to the gym to lift some weights because there's a lot of parts that I want to tone. My arms are doing a lot. Um, even though my waist is coming in, I want my abs to kind of sit a little better. I need my booty to grow. Um... I'm fine with my thick thighs because, you know, the thighs got to match. But, um, yeah, I'm just really excited for losing the, the weight that I did lose so far. I have a lot more to go. Not even a lot more, but it's, and it's not even that I'm trying to lose weight. I just, I just want to be healthy. I want to look my best. I'm about to be. So, I just... I just want to go into 30 looking good, feeling good, able to breathe. That's like the biggest thing for me um, coming out of quarantine when I got back like into dancing and modeling. I was getting out of breath, winded from like basic stuff and I did not like that. So that's the main reason that I signed up. It was never, I have to lose 50 pounds and be a size eight. No, it's not giving that. I don't care what the number on the scale says. I don't care what the number on the tag says. I just want to be able to breathe. I want to be able to walk up the steps. I just want to be able to keep up. I just, I just want to be healthy. That's it, okay? Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any other type of content that you would like to see related to my weight loss journey, let me know down in the comments and I will be sure to make that video for you guys. Yeah, I don't really have anything else to say, so I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!